And you see that in the whole chapter of 617, that God Himself is speaking. You can say that God is the one who took the initiative to start this conversation. And he started the initiative to talk to Abraham. In, in verse 4, he says that I will make a covenant with you. And to this defeated Abram, it's, these are very strange words. The author of this book uses three uh, names to, or characters to depict who God is. Here you see God's character and his grace, what it is. The first one, the author depicts him as Lord. Here it tells us that he is Lord because he established a covenant and he fulfills and are faithful to the covenant. No matter how much of a failure mankind is, but the name Jehovah reminds us that God is forever faithful. And then secondly, it depicts him as the almighty God. That is, in other words, that God has the ability to, to do the things that is beyond our imagination. We always think in my mind, well, I want God to do this, I want him to do that. But the almighty God can do much more than what I can conceive. Even to make a barren woman to conceive. To allow a person who has died to come back to life. And it gives us this re the, the power of rebirth. Elohim. And the thirdly, he's depicted as Elohim. He tells us that he is the creator of all things. He's above all things. He, he is the God who maintains. To provide, to protect everyone. When Abram is to face this type of God, when he is to, to, to face this stubborn love from God, he is such a holy and glorious God, the, the scripture tells, tells us he, he, he lies face down before God. When God speaks to us, we need to humble ourselves and bow down before God. And secondly, as this uh, scripture tells us, God's covenant. This covenant is repeated 13 times in this passage. In this chapter. And in this 13 verses uh, that are read, the covenant is repeated nine, nine times. And what does that tell us? That means this covenant belongs to God. It is according to his power and his plan. It is according to God's timing and his terms. And many people, a lot of people come before God and will think about their own benefits and they come up with their own terms. 
If God, if you really love me, let my life be wonderful. Then I will accept you as my savior. And then I will let you come into my heart. And we always think that I am choosing what I want to believe in God for. We, we need to think what God, what I want God to do. In reality, we won't. We don't want that type of God. But the God who is the Creator of all things. When He choose people and we calls them to become His nation, He only gave them two choices. Either you submit to God's terms, or you, or you don't, because this is God's covenant. In other words, you need to face the consequences of breaking the covenant. And thirdly, God's covenant brings change to Abram. The first change to Abram is to change his name. In verse 5, it tells us, in verse 5, it tells us, from now on, your name shall, no longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. So now we can come to a point where it's no longer called Abram, Abram, but Abraham. So usually when a child is born, who gives them their name? Usually it's the parents who have the authority to give the child a name. The name usually depicts what the parents hope from their children. Especially the Chinese names. If you are a ABC born in America, you need to go back and find out what your Chinese name is because it has significant meanings. When my parents made, uh, uh, gave me the name, even though they are not Christians, but their name really is biblical. It's the name, my name depicts that you are such a, uh, a meager Particle, but you can do a lot of things. And here, we, the, the Bible depicts that a small mustard seed can move a mountain. And Abram's name, Abram's name meant exalted father. Either uh, Abram, Abram had a uh, 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 ancestors that were exalted, or he was was is exalted. But Abraham means the father of a multiple multitude of nations. But multiple of nations meaning he's the father of many, many people. And God has repeated many times that he would be, they will have many 
many uh, ancestors that comes uh, comes after him. Ah, 而家系好多个后裔里面，系有好多个啊个个国家 nation， 同埋好多个国王喺里面出嚟。And many descendants, and among them, many kings will come from them. 啊，即系包括第十二章话，就使到亚伯兰成为大国，啊，又就使到万民得福，嗰个嘅咁嘅应许。And the promise he gave them is in chapter in verse twelve that. 唔系唔系，第十二章就话，第十二章佢话使到亚伯兰成为一个大国，出呢成。Or or as he told Abraham in chapter twelve that he will become a great nation. 啊，同埋使使到使到地上嘅万族都都得到福气呢个嘅应许。So that that all that mankind can be blessed. 因為亞伯拉罕呢個，就俾亞伯拉罕有一個新嘅身份。So here Abraham is given a new identity。啊，俾佢有一個新嘅使命同埋新嘅目的地。He is given a new purpose in life and a new place to live。啊，呢呢一個約亦都應許啊，將迦南地呢、这個地方係賜俾啊佢。It is here that Abram was given the land of Canaan as an inheritance. 但呢一个新嘅名亦都代表到，代表咗佢同神嘅建建立咗一个好亲密嘅关系。The new name also it depicts a new and close relationship between God and and Abraham. 就话啦，呢个神就好似啊呢个嗰位嗰位为佢起阿伯兰起起名嗰个父亲。And that that is to say that God becomes Abraham Abraham's parents who gives him his name. 啊！當佢起同佢起名嘅時候，將亞伯拉罕帶入去神嗰個個家嘅裏面。When he is given a name, he is brought into the family of God. 啊！將佢帶入去神嗰個約嘅裏面。And he is brought into the covenant of God. 啊！去做佢嘅神。That that he that God will be his God. 啊！係一個好親一個個人係一個好親密嘅關係嘅裏面。And this is a very close relationship. 啊！都都。我早先想照去照去講到關於撒來嘅改名嘅嘅呢呢個呢一段落。And last and the last、uh, last week we come to the part where Sarah has her name changed. 啊，第二十五到第六節話撒來亦都要改，佢都會改名，誒，神都會改名叫做撒拉。So here in verse fifteen and sixteen, it tells us that Sarah needs to change her name to Sarah. 啊，兩個兩呢兩個呢兩個名都可以解咗做公子咁解。This name can be uh. uh Depicts a princess. Ha, she has a very high birth and a very high education. Perhaps she has a a very uh precious uh a noble uh uh beginning. Ha, she has a very high education. Perhaps she has a very uh a noble uh uh beginning. Ha, she has a very high education. Perhaps she has a very uh a noble uh uh beginning. And here it also tells us that Sarah will also give birth to a child. Ah, this son is called Isaac. Ah, he also blesses him. He also blesses him to be a great nation. And this child will be named Isaac. And this child will be named Isaac. And this child will be the father of multiple nations. Ah, when God changes their name, when God changes their name, ah, when people are there. 呼叫聽亞亞伯拉罕撒拉嘅呢個新嘅名嘅時候 ，When people call upon call Abram and Sarah by their name， 啊，佢哋或者其他人都會提醒到，哦，原來呢個神係幾咁個豐富嘅神。They and others are reminded that how great and an abundant is our God。啊，佢哋會被提醒神係就係一個嗰嗰位滿有恩典嘅神。They are reminded that this God is filled with grace。我哋每一個人都有我哋個名。Every one of us have a name。但聖經講話神係耶耶穌係知道我哋每一個人嘅名字。And the Bible tells us that God knows every one of our names。啊，而且佢按住我哋每一個人嘅名字嚟呼召我哋嚟跟隨佢。And He knows every one of our lives and He calls every one of us。但我哋但我哋信咗主嘅人，我哋更加有一個新嘅名字。But when we come to know the Lord, we should have a new name。Our new name is Christian. Ah, 
A Christian means a little Christ, that we to be like Christ. That is that when we call ourselves Christians, that our lives represent on this earth to be like Christ. And this name Christian tells people that we are following God's commission to bring forth blessing to the ends of the earth. And lastly, in verse 9 to 14 here, it further depicts the covenant with Abraham. And this, this Abraham, is, is, it goes beyond generations. This is their responsibility. And here in, in firstly it tells us that you need to walk before me and be perfect. God did not uh, use the the failures of mankind to lower his standards. But rather, in the weakness of man, they ought to rely on God and experience God. To live by God's power, the good character of God. Because when the Spirit actually lives in our heart, there must be change in your life. The second responsibility or demands of Abraham is that there must be a circumcision in the family. To be circumcised means that they are to separate themselves or to be stand out to be God's people. They are to be a group of people who are called and stand out to be God's people. And here in verse 13, that, here, that they ought to be a sign of their flesh. It tells us that when a child is eight years old, they must partake in the circumcision. That is that throughout the rest of his life, they will see the scars in on his body. And this sign will be obvious and could be seen. You will see the abundance of God. And many people uh, do the, circum this, the circumcision today. Even though uh, circumcision was common among the people uh, in Abra Abraham's time. But they usually don't perform their circumcisions at birth, after, after birth, but they do it uh, sometime when they're in their mid-teens or before marriage. These were customs of those who were around them who did not believe in God. But here God uses this new sign as a new symbol in their lives. And, and circumcision took place in, on the body of Abraham. That is that here is where, where Abraham puts his hope of having descendants. Here is to, is to remind Abraham 
that he and his descendants from multiple generations will belong to God. And here, the, thirdly, this circumcision represents something that has taken place in their spiritual lives. That God has already performed in their hearts this spiritual circumcision. In Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 6, it tells us. And the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring so that you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, that you may live. That is to say that God has already uh, perform the spiritual work on their hearts. The, the, the circumcision outwardly only represents a sign of what has taken place inwardly. If you, that is to say, if you were born as an Israelite or you born with a, as an individual who has been uh, circumcised, even though they are not true Israelites, but those who want to follow the, the faith of Abraham, to have to, to, to follow the faith that even before the circumcisions of Abraham, in reality, what did Abraham believe? He believed in the salvation that God has prepared for him. Here in, in the New Testament, God uh, in New Testament that uh, they explain the Old Testament from a redemptive angle perspective. Uh, uh, the New Testament explains to us what is taking place in the Old Testament. And in Book of Romans, the Apostle Paul explains very clearly what the circumcision means for Abraham in this time. In verse, Romans verse 4, verse 5, he, what did Abraham believe? Uh, here it tells us that Abraham believed in him who justifies the ungodly. It is that through this faith that he is counted as righteous. And as this chapter continues from uh, uh, 14, 17 to 21, 24, it, it gives us such a clear picture, I cannot help but read all of it. What did Abraham believe? How, why are we to follow him? In verse uh, 17, he says, He believes who gave, who, he, Abraham believed who gives life to the dead and called into existence the things that did not exist. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations. 
，睇咗第十九節同二十節，佢話佢將近即係八歲嘅時候啊，即係話佢好似即係生育嘅斷網都冇嘅時候咧，佢話佢個信心還是不軟弱啊，並且仰望神嘅應許，咁冇話因不信而心裏頭起疑惑，反而因住信。啊！心里头佢得到坚固，佢将荣耀去归俾神。In verse 19 and 20, here Abraham says he did not he he did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb. No unbelief made him waver concerning the promise of. No unbelief made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gives glory to God. Ah, the twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-two. He said, "Because he was very strong in his faith, he believed God. God had promised that he would make it happen. So he gave glory to God." In verse twenty-one and twenty-two, he tells us that he was fully convinced that God was able to do what he has promised. That is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. Ah, 尊为佢个意，佢话即系为我，为咗我哋啊，将来得尊为义义嘅人者嘅，即系我哋啊，就叫我哋呢啲信神，使到我哋主耶主耶稣基督从死里复活嘅人。And verse twenty-three, and for, but but the words it was counted to him. For all hours also, it will be counted to us who believe in Him who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord. Abraham 个信系使到喺喺使到佢能够喺神面前能够尊为义。The faith of Abraham was was able to make him righteous before God. 啊，而呢个割礼咗流个血。And this blood that was shed during circumcision. Ah, 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 this blood that was shed And Jesus on the cross is just being pierced. It's just like the 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 the, the, the knife that is used in in circumcision. Jesus, 冇罪嘅耶稣，俾人当做罪犯嘅去交俾人。A sinless Christ was was treated as he was sinful and give and and made as a prisoner. 系就系为咗我哋。啊，以以個過犯啊，能夠喺十字架上去被決定死。It is and because of his death on the cross that he will save us sinners。啊，即耶穌個救贖已經成全咗割禮所代表嘅屬靈嘅事實。Christ has fulfilled what was symbolized in the ceremony of circumcision。所以我哋今日基督徒唔再唔使再行呢個割禮。So therefore, we Christians today don't need to have circumcision. 啊，唔需要行呢個割禮做一個記號嚟代表我哋個罪已經得到潔淨。We don't need the circumcision to as a sign to say that our sins have been forgiven. 啊，唔需要用呢個割禮嚟嚟做一個 seal 啊個印證，我哋係屬於神嘅。Or the The, the circumcision it does not have to be the the seal that we belong to God. But we have substituted with baptism. In Matthew chapter twenty-eight, verse nineteen. And this is very familiar to all of us. It says, "Go therefore and make disciples of all nations." Ah, 好似神叫亚伯拉罕咁啊，佢要去取万民去得福一样。And just like God calls Abraham so that nations will benefit. Ah, 佢就话佢要咩？要要去去奉父子圣灵嘅名给他们施洗。And he tells the disciples, disciples to baptize them in the name of the Father. Ah, 而第四道行卷第十六章第三一节佢咁样讲。
And in verse in Acts chapter 16, verse 31, it tells us, believe in the Lord Jesus, you and you will be saved, you and your household. And therefore the whole family was baptized. And it's, it is Jesus who accepts both of these. Uh, 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 sacraments. That is the the sacrament of the Lord's Supper and baptism. The baptism represents that our sins have been washed and cleansed away. It also represents our being united with Christ. We have been buried and resurrected with Christ. And the seal represents that we are God's people. Baptism represents that we have entered into God's family. And it, it, is, it, is, it is proven and, and defined that nothing can separate us from the hands of God. Baptism and circumcision is the same. It depicts that the whole family participates. So therefore the church will 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 uh, baptize those who are members who believe in Christ. To accept them as a part of the holy family. But this does not represent that they will be saved. But the parents need to, to teach them with the word of God. Every week they will bring them back to go to Sunday school and go to worship to listen to God's word. This is not only a responsibility, but this is something a privilege that they they have. And when the child grows up, they can discern things. They themselves need to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. And they will partake in the uh, confirmation to 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 express their belief in Jesus Christ. And I believe that this is something that will take place in our next Sunday's worship. And then when I look back in the, on, uh, the baptism that I took 46 years ago, the person who baptized me prayed for me so that I can walk the path that God has put before me. And, and I was uh, crying so much I didn't know which Water, it was the baptism water or tears from my eyes. And I felt deeply that God was leading me to take the path that I was to take in my life. And I felt that how much God loved me, such a sinner. And especially while I was still a teenager, they, uh, they were much anger and hatred in my life. And I would always sin against God. But yet God will still accept me into his family. Romans chapter 8, 5 verse 8, it tells us that, but God showed his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 
弟兄姊妹，你知唔知道你我哋嘅洗礼就咁样嘅去代表着呢个呢代表着呢一个神嘅爱。Brothers and sisters, do you know that our baptism represents this type of love from God？ 所以每当我哋洗礼或者睇人哋洗礼或者诶、呃、捐进嚟嘅时候。我哋應該係一個帶咗個好感恩嘅心嚟到神面前。When we baptize ourselves, or we see someone who is baptized or have confirmation that this is the love that God is showing us。嚇！我哋喺嗰當，我啲學習將我嘅生命啊，我有個生命獻上俾神當做活祭。We need to learn to give our life as a living sacrifice。我點樣去選擇我嘅人生要繼續行嘅路咧 ？How will am I to choose the path of life before me？ 嚇！我我我學習去與神嗰個榮嗰個嗰個嗰個旨意去去去做我嘅生去做我嘅決定。Am I following the will of God when I make my decisions？ 即係話我我要點樣去揀去讀邊間大學，去揀啲咩科咧 ？That is to say, what college should I choose? What major should I do? Should I take？ 我揀咗之後，我我同邊個同佢結婚咧 ？And also, who should I marry？ 嚇，呢個唔係淨係一啲我好想做嘅事情。These are not the things that you want to do。呢啲係神。係要喺我哋嘅身上嘅裏面點樣去榮耀佢嘅事情 ？These are the things that God wants you to glorify Him in your life。啊，人人有人話我哋係咪癲咗咧 ？And some people ask that, are you guys crazy？ 嗱，但係好似我頭先講，當呢個創造天地嘅萬物神佢去呼召我哋嘅時候 ，As I said before, when this creator of the universe, this God who calls us， 佢要嘅就係我哋喺佢面前嘅完全嘅信服。What he demands of us is total obedience。啊，神知道佢自己做緊乜嘢。God knows what he's doing。啊，我哋可以安心嘅去等候。We need to be patient and wait。雖然阿巴拉罕同我哋都會喺呢個完全嘅順服嘅裏面去失敗。Even though, like Abraham, we will fail in this, in this、uh, perfect、uh, demand of God。啊，雖然咁，我上次所講就係，雖然我哋失敗，但係神嘅約並不在乎我哋。Even though we fail, but the covenant is still with us。啊，一係在乎耶穌嗰個完全嘅順服。Covenant depends on the total submission, obedience of Christ. Ah, he 将因而将佢嘅义因住信心归俾我哋 And therefore, God will give us faith and give us the justification through Christ. Ah, Jesus 定定喺十字架上承受咗嗰神嗰个愤怒嘅洗礼 And 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 Christ on the cross became the the wrath. The baptism of God's wrath. It became the baptism of God's wrath. Take on the baptism of God's wrath. He took on the baptism of God's wrath. 啊，即系话咧，神将全人类嘅罪完全嘅倾倒咗喺耶稣嘅身上。In other words, that God had poured all of His wrath that man deserves upon Jesus. 啊，为咗叫我哋嘅心能够得到洁净。So that our hearts will be cleansed. 好似佢聖靈嘅呢個聖靈嘅潔淨嘅呢呢呢個洗禮，能我哋能夠去去去得到。Just as the Spirit cleanses the baptism, so that we may receive it. 啊！當我哋一齊唱呢，我一間會唱呢首歌啊，阿巴拉罕嘅神嘅時候。As we end with the singing of the hymn that depicts the God of Abraham. 我哋就就所以向我哋呢個神獻上我哋嘅最大嘅讚美同埋最大嘅感恩。Let us give to God our greatest blessing and thankfulness。因為呢啲都係唔係我哋係每能夠係配得到嘅。This is not something that we all deserve。感謝主，讓我哋獻我獻上我哋嘅生命去為為主所用。Let us come and give our lives to be used by God。我哋用起立，我哋唱詩歌第。Let's all rise and let's sing hymn number nine, nineteen. The God, the God of Abraham, praise. Thank、you 
Lord, you are an all-powerful and all-knowing God. You are all-loving and you provide for all our needs. Yet you would come into this world to form a covenant. That would you use the body of Christ to establish this new covenant. So that whoever comes and accepts Jesus as Lord and Savior, that they will have new life. And you also call us to live before you this holy life. Lord, we pray that you would live in every one of us and lead us. Let our lives be used by you. And to praise you daily in our lives. And we pray all these things in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> 